And so, um, can you tell the difference between this and what we just concluded, the examples we concluded from our previous video? Um, okay, I'll tell you. There's a decimal here. So this makes that one quite unique. Like, this has an added approach, right? Of course, we know before now, we've been solving without the decimal, right? We've been asked to convert without the decimal part. Just convert this from base 2 to base 10, but now we have the decimal part. So let's see how to tackle this. Of course, before the decimal, we've always done this, where we just put the 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So now, after the decimal, there comes your minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So we have 1 times your base raised to its power, right? And then we have 0 times your base raised to its power. And then we have 1 times your base raised to its power. And then we have 1 times your base raised to its power, right? We're done with this part. Now for this part, just the same. You have 1 times its base raised to the power you have there. And then you have 0 times the base raised to the power, which is minus 2. And then you have 1 times raised to the power there, right? So of course, we've done this before. 2 raised to the power of 3 means 2 in 3 places. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Then you have 0 times 4. Please ignore the noises in the background. Thank you. And then you have 1 times 2. And then you have 1 times 1. And of course, I don't know how many of you have seen this before, but if you have anything like this in mathematics, it means 1 over that thing, which is, of course, 1 over 2. So you have 2 raised to the power of minus 2. It means 1 over that thing. So in this case, you tell us the negative makes it reverse. So we don't have the negative anymore. I hope that makes sense. All right. So if you have 2 raised to the power of minus 3, this becomes 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Right? Okay, let's move on. So we have 1 over 2 raised to the power of 1 plus 0 times 1 over 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 1 times 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Right. Okay, so 1 times 8 is 8, plus 0 times 4 is 0, plus 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. Because of course 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2. 0 times the whole of this thing here is 0. 1 times 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 is 1 over 8 times 1, which is 1 over 8. Alright? Okay. You have 8 plus 0, which is 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Now, you could change this to decimal or still sum it up as a fraction. So, we'll do both. So, you could choose the one you like. Alright? So, this in decimal, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. And then 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125. So you could sum this up with a calculator. 11 plus 0 0.5 is 11.5. So that plus 11.5. That's 11.625. So base 10. Or 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 is 11 plus... Now this 2, you know, of course, you know you would find your LCM. The LCM of 2 and 8 is 8. So 2 in 8 is what? 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 8 in 8 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So you have 11 plus 
5 over 8. And this gives you 11 of number 5 over 8. So you could have this in decimal or you could have this in fraction. Whichever one works best for you. It's all the same thing. You're going to get the same answer. And remember that you could decide not to indicate the base because it's the same as having the real value, right? All right. So thank you for watching. I'm going to give you the exercise as always to prove that you understood all we've been doing. So why not get this done so we could understand that you understood what we did today and you've been following. So, of course, we started with defining what binary numbers are. We said that bits got the word from binary digits, right? And these are numbers with just two digits, the zeros and the ones. They are used mostly in computer science to store and process data. The computer reads everything that you type in in zeros and ones, if that makes sense in any way. And we've been able to learn how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers or base twos to base tens, right? So of course, if you have any questions, do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to leave your questions in the comment section. And as always, if you like what you see, why not subscribe? You're welcome to become one of the Sun Ninjas. Of course, like this video so the algorithm knows that you like it here. And share a friend to tell a friend that there's a school called the School of Mathematics Nigeria, which you and I know you enjoy watching. All right, until next class. Bye.